Hey everybody, Annette Knack here coming to you live from the outdoors. It's a beautiful day. I want to take advantage of it while I recorded another brief message for you. And today I want to talk about rough days, having them, getting rid of them. How do you do that? So I had a rough day the other day and usually I would say I wouldn't tell anyone about it or I would kind of keep it to myself or maybe just tell a few really close friends, but I didn't do that. I'm not going to hide having a bad day from anyone because it's not really who I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be very open, honest, and very vulnerable about my journey. Um, I am looking to be healthier, happier, and everything that goes along with that. And having rough days is kind of, it's part of what happens when you're human. You know, you're going to have them whether you like it or not. So I had a rough day. And it was one of those days where I felt like I was being triggered by every little thing that possibly could come into my world. Uh, my clients, maybe they were late, maybe they weren't, maybe they were in a good mood, maybe they weren't. Everything I was taking very personally. And the problem with taking things personally is that it's not really about you when it comes to other people. So having a rough day was ultimately not really something that anyone gave to me or anything that someone did to me. It was what I had done to myself. Um, I had been holding back a couple of things that I'd wanted to say or things I'd been feeling and didn't really want to admit to feeling them. And it came down to having a very honest conversation with a very dear friend of mine and having that friend ask me some questions that I had been avoiding. So I had this rough day and it wasn't pretty, but I'm very grateful that I had it. I'm very glad that it was able to be gifted to me in that moment because it made me stop and think about some of the other things that I've been doing. And ultimately, it comes down to my habits. It comes down to hiding out probably a little bit more than I had wanted to. It comes down to not really standing up for myself in certain ways when I really had wanted to. And this, after a while, will end up being one of those things where you start blaming other people. Oh, it was so-and-so's fault that I didn't get to whatever, or it's uh, my, my job's fault that I didn't have time to go on vacation, or, you know, we'll make up a reason, we'll make up an excuse, we'll find something or someone to blame. And when it comes down to it, we have no one to blame but ourselves. And I say that with love because I'm human. I do it to myself. I do it on a semi-regular basis and I'm still learning, which is the best part. So my question to you is when you have a rough day, do you immediately take responsibility for it? Say, okay, what did I do? What did I think? What did I feel? How am I being? In what way have I caused this? And in what ways can I not cause it again? Or what, what ways can I make it better? And the other question would be, are you having a rough day or are you just telling yourself you're having a rough day because there's something that you didn't do that day for someone else, for something else, and you automatically say, well, if I didn't do this, then I must be having a rough day. Let me give you an example. So there are a lot of people out there that will work in a job for years and years and years and say they love their job, they love their job, but the job really is just a means to an end, it pays the bills and their boss will expect them to do something and they don't do it. So all of a sudden the boss comes down on them and says, oh, well, I'm having a rough day. And you make an excuse and you make an excuse because maybe you just don't like the job. Maybe you don't want to do the job. Maybe the thing you needed to do was really boring and you'd rather go off and do something else. Like, I don't know, be on Facebook. So my, my whole idea here is that at that point you're in a job, you're a worker. This is a role that you play. Maybe, you know, you're home and your loved ones ask you to, oh, I don't know, maybe they want to go to a movie. And you say, I don't, I don't really know if I want to go to a movie because I have this other thing that I need to do. And what you're doing with that is that you are taking on possibly something that you want to do, something that you don't want to do. Maybe you don't want to see the movie. Maybe you have no desire. You don't like the actors. You don't like the storyline. Maybe it's just something you don't want to do but in the end maybe you just go ahead and you watch the movie anyway and you do it because that's what you do your loved ones you want to make them happy so you are in a way maybe sacrificing part of yourself to make other people happy what I'm getting at here is that in our daily life we take on certain roles employee we take on you know devoted mother father husband wife sister brother daughter son, something, we, we take on a role and we take on the responsibilities of that role and in the end of it, 
Is it a role that we wanted? Is it a role that we were given? Is it a role that we feel obligated to play? And this goes back to having a rough day or not having a rough day. It's a choice that we made. So we're born into a family. Maybe we are someone's son, we're someone's daughter, and we make the decision. Maybe we get married or we don't. Maybe we have friends, maybe we have coworkers, and we fall into this daily routine of what needs to be done, what we have to do, what we want to do. And my question to you is how many times do you sacrifice your ultimate wants, needs, and desires so that someone else can have theirs. And I found that I've been doing this, and this is why I had my quote, my, my rough day, was because um, I was playing into the needs of other people rather than into my own. And it gets very frustrating when you do things like that because at the end of the day, you're not happy. You're not, you're, you're just not happy. And when you're not happy, how can you possibly be doing a good job at anything? How can you be doing a good job at friend, at daughter, at coworker, at, you know, sister, how can you do a good job with that when you're not happy? So my rough day, my friend talking to me, my friend listening to me, and just being there reminded me that I'm playing these roles in my life that aren't always beneficial to me. And when they're not beneficial to me, I'm not really able to help anybody. And at the end of the day, it's, it was my choice. It was my choice to be that person, to do that thing. And the question I have to ask myself is, am I willing to continue playing these roles or am I willing to let them go? Because at the end of the day, if I'm not being served by the choices that I make, how is anyone else going to be served by those choices as well? So having a rough day is a choice. Do I let myself sit there and wallow? Do I let myself, you know, just go off and do something destructive? You know, sugar doesn't really agree with me. Do I just go off and eat like, you know, half a cake? Um, it's a question, do I, do I not? I didn't, by the way, but it, it's a question. It comes down to what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? How do you want to be in the world? And do these rough days define you? And the answer is no. And the roles that you play in life, the dutiful daughter, the loyal friend, the doting wife, whatever whatever role it is that you're playing, is it serving you? Is it really where you want to be? And if it is, fantastic, great. Keep doing that. Don't stop. But if it's not, stop and consider for a moment how best your energy, your time, your whole being would be served if you actually stopped playing the role. Just stop. It might not take a minute, five minutes a day, a month. It might take a year, it might take a long time. I'm working on that myself. It takes a long time to break old patterns, to break old habits, to let go of old roles that you play. I saw a quote the other day that talked about the masks that you wear and one day, you know, you just take off the mask and the thing is, do you like what you see when you look under the mask? Do you, you know, peek just a little bit? Do you just rip it off and say, take it or leave it, this is who I am? Or do you slowly start peeling the layers off? And this is a process that I think I am working with very, very closely, very much every day of my life. I'm peeling off the layers, I'm dropping the old roles, I'm taking off the old masks, and what comes out from underneath is going to be who I actually am at my core and who I am most comfortable being. And it's, it's a beautiful journey, it's a hard journey, it can be rough in spots, but it's absolutely worth it. And I would like to encourage you to do the same thing, that decide exactly what you want to be, who you want to be, how you want to be in this world. And if it's as simple as saying, no thank you, I don't want to do whatever it is that people were asking you to do, or no thank you, that's not really who I am anymore, you know, be brave, step up and say, I am who I am, and I will not play into the needs, the wants, the desires of other people if it's not going to serve me first, and yes, it is hard. And yes, you might lose friends, but no, you will not lose respect. Because respecting your first is for yourself first is so important, so critical. Your happiness is your happiness. Your rough days are your rough days, but they're not rough. They're learning experiences. So my challenge to you is to look at your life and see if there's a role that you're playing that no longer fits. And if it doesn't fit, let it go. And if you can let it go, let it go right now. And if you can, if it's going to take some time, talk to someone, talk to anybody, talk to a friend, pull them aside, 
put on some music, just dance, whatever you can, just let it go. Find out what it is that is truly going to make you happy because at the end of the day, that is all we have. We have ourselves, we have our health, we have our happiness. That's my challenge. Good luck. See you next time.